Hello everybody, today I will be telling you what Homebrew 3DS is. So last week I got a question what Homebrew actually is. So I'm going to explain it today in this video. So this is a quote from the website. All the links are down in the description if you want to read them or want to homebrew yourself. And it quoted, Homebrew is what we call unofficial software made by amateur develop developers for closed system systems such as C3DS. This includes both games and application. After that they give some examples which isn't the full list of examples. And I'm going to tell you, I don't really know what they were talking about. Homebrew is a exploit and it's used for many things. And here are the most uh, popular things that are on Homebrew. You can play some games. The games aren't the best, but some are pretty fun, so take a look at, look at it if you have homebrew. Also you can play games that aren't from your region, so if your 3DS doesn't find them if you put them in, and they are from, for example, if you're from the USA, and you got a game from Europe, then you're able to play them via homebrew. And you can also play old games on emulators. If you don't know what an emulator is, it is basically a fake console, for example. And some examples of emulator so pretty much you can play those games are the old NES, the Atari, Chip 8, I don't know what it is but hey it's there, um, Game Boy Advanced, Game Boy Color, Virtual Boy, um, Genesis and the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Those are the most famous emulators and I think it's pretty cool. Another thing it that is really huge is to import and export save files. For example, if you have a Pokemon game and want to edit some Pokemon to have 6 IVs or the best attacks there are, you can export the save file, edit them on your PC, put the SD card back in, and you have pretty much all you want. And this way you can also hack the full Pokédex to have everything, let it think you got everything. It is pretty handy. The net next thing is not for all um, firmware versions. If you have a firmware version of 11.0 or higher, you won't be able to do this, but you could install games for free. So I'm going to make another video explaining the way to install them and what CIAs and legit CIAs are. And if I have the video up, click the little eye in the right corner to see what it is and check the video out after watching this video of course. The next thing is Facebook. I don't know why you would do it, but via Homebrew you can access Facebook as an app and you can browse Facebook. I don't know why you should, because pretty much everyone has a phone now, but hey, it's there. Also not a really, really useful feature, myself I use it, I use it a lot, is the coin editor. So there's a, a there is an application where you can edit your coins on the 3DS, so you don't have to walk. And you can edit it yourself or just any program can also add a thousand coins to your system. So your system thinks you have a thousand coins, which is pretty useful if the games you play or via Mii Park, if you have a thousand coins, it's just really useful. The last thing that is really useful is Teams. So, since a while ago, you can install teams on your 3DS and most of them are paid or you get on with a game. But via Homebrew, you can basically apply all the teams you like. So, you download them from a site or make your own and then you can apply them, which is really useful. Myself, I've used this feature a lot and it's just cool to have another team and make your 3DS look a little bit nicer. So these are the basics of the Homebrew Launcher on the 3DS. If you have any questions, let me know down below in the comments. I hope I can see you in my next video, where I probably will explain some more about the Homebrew and maybe custom filmware and all, those, and all that stuff. And I'll see you!